up with the stormtroopers, I was th thinking I, that might be impossible. And you were stuck on that, I think, for longer than anything else in the game. Purple turret, welcome in. Lorraine, welcome in. See, I gotta catch up with you guys. I'm falling behind. Lorraine, how you doing today? Purple turret, welcome in. Hope you guys are doing great. Sorry I missed you coming in. This is why I stopped. <laughs> this is why I stopped playing and catch up. You got lucky. You did not get lucky, sir. You got good. Red7, welcome in. Retro Gaming Backlog, welcome in. Backlog, well done, sir, on Holy Diver beating level 4. Excellent stuff. I'm proud. You're going to beat the game. It's only a matter of time. Dragon Fighter, on my list. On my list already, Smart and Tart. I've got everything available. Trium K, thank you for the follow. And Purple Turret, thank you for the follow. It's great to have you guys here. Appreciate it. We're going to play some Chippendale Rescue Rangers, too. I don't mind the searching in games. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I'm very impatient. So if I don't like get through something, like find everything I need fairly quick. Well, I don't know. We just found a bunch of stuff in DuckTales, but missed something. So it drives me nuts. It would just be DuckTales CS, Matt. It's done. It is all done. I got the bad ending, though. So we're going to have to play DuckTales 2 again at some point in time. But that's okay. I don't mind. I liked it been a hard fought battle i'd love me some holy diver that's one of my favorite nes games i know most people are rolling their eyes at that but that's okay home improvement is the last game yeah i can go with that now i think i could retro mike welcome in how's it going buddy good to see you as well this game is kind of mad the first rescue rangers is much more fun okay we'll see how it works out maybe i might like this one more I am, I'm weird like that. All right, we can be Chip or Dale. I'm being Dale. Chip's kind of a stick in the mud. Dale's actually got some personality. Let's go with Dale. Are we going to get a story? What are we going to get? Let me guess. Fat cats causing trouble. This one's like every episode of Rescue Rangers. I, I remember the cartoon. See? The balloon says fat cat. I'm right. I'm right. All right. Big shock. Cloud Strife. What's up, buddy? Welcome in. Welcome to Chip and Dale. Newscaster says, Special Bulletin. Police say a downtown re restaurant has received a bomb threat. A bomb threat in a kid's game. Times were sure different. Unless a time bomb can be found, the restaurant can be destroyed. Dude, they're talking about freaking terrorism in a game for kids. This would not fly today. Whoa, a time bomb. All right, can we be Gadget in this one? Gadget says, Chip, what is it? There's a time bomb in a restaurant downtown. I, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Could you imagine this kind of content in a kid's game today? We've got to find it. This is an emergency. Yeah, it's a job for the rescue rangers. There's no time to waste. Let's go, mates. Mates? That doesn't sound like gadget talking. We've got a bomb to find. There's Monterey Jack. He's here. We'll go ahead to investigate. Oh, it's not going to let me play as every character. See, that, that's something they miss out on. Look for us. We'll give you any clues we've found. Somehow tossing boxes in this game doesn't feel as good. All right, well, we'll see or give you some help. Never would oh, never would have made it through the battle of the Bree without a bit of help. He's talking about cheese. This guy's got like an addiction to cheese. Ah, those were the days. All right, Monty, we don't want to hear about your cheese addiction. When the, the fly is zipper... And he doesn't talk, he just buzzes. Alright, there's Dale, finally. Right, Zipper, there's no time to lose. I hate it when text is slow in games. And then there's other games where the text is too fast. Dale, you come with me. Now? But I was about to start my afternoon nap. That, that, see, this is why Dale's much more of an interesting character. No can do, Dale! Come on! The, the dialogue is way too slow. Okay, partner, let's go, finally. I love the new Rescue Rangers movie that came out not too long ago. It was such a hidden gem. I haven't seen that yet. I have not seen that. I'd like to see it, though, because I like the series. Fat Cat, the notorious feline felon, escaped from prison last night. Wow, he's like the villain in every show. Same for you, Lorraine? All right. Yeah, I'm. I, I like Rescue Rangers. I'm gonna come, but look at that sandwich, boy. That looks good, except for the tomato on it. That looks like crap. All right, I didn't even read the manual for this game, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the items are. <laughs> What's that? A mouse throwing a fork? Yep. All right. Well, this seems to control well enough. The controls are nice. 
I can throw stuff. I guess we should be looking for one. I wonder how many continues and stuff this has. I might not be able to beat it today. We'll see if it's harder than the first game. I try combo meal. No. Combo meal. What's up, Iron Torch? Welcome in. I was never a person to get combo meals back in the day. I, that's how the, they, they make money off you by selling you the drink. So I usually didn't do that. Combo meal. That's not enough to fill up anybody anyway. What? Would you like a small fries, a small burger, and, and a, a small Coke? That's the kind of crap they were offering. Game is easy? Okay. So that might be similar to the first Rescue Rangers game then. Do I have like a status screen? Okay, I do. RR, I've got 25 Rescue Rangers emblems, two lives. We'll see how this goes. This looks a lot like the first one. The graphics are nice though. What is that? Dead, whatever it is. For a long time, the Rescue Rangers is an undying speed run everyone can enjoy. I, yeah, not me, though. I don't speed run. I go real slow and fight stuff that I don't need to fight. <laughs> See, like right now, I'm, I killed that guy when I didn't even need to. I do know people that actually do real speed runs of the first game, and they do an amazing job at it, but that will not be me. I'm a slow runner. I do everything really slowly and like really badly, so you, you won't see any type of speed run content here. I'm looking for, like, hidden stuff. There might be one-ups or something. You never know. That's what these games do. This is the one I played as a kid. What'd you think about it, Wolf? Did you like it? It looks good so far. Okay, that's bullshit. Can I throw stuff up? I can. Okay. Hey, this is fine. I don't have a problem with this so far. It's a first playthrough of a game I've never seen before. Can I jump on the bottle? Is this guy dead or just... I'm, he's probably still going to hurt me. Yeah. I'm missing all that good ranger stuff up there. The slow, impatient runner. That's me. That's me. Won't be any speed. You will never see speed running on this channel. I just can't do it. I, I just... Really? Alright, how do you get health back? I'm about to die on the first level. That's not good. <laughs> Haven't seen anywhere to get health back so far. I duck under that? Nope. Nope, but you can't duck. When you duck, you go down like half an inch. Don't know how many continues I've got to work with or anything. Really like this one, just wish it wasn't so damn it since we get these days. I'd love to own it. I've got it simply because I bought it cheap at Blockbuster back in the day. Speedrunners make the hardest games look easily. It's quite annoying, it kind of is. It kind of is when you look at it like that, Vanilla. <laughs> You're not wrong. At all. Watch, I'll have more trouble with this than I had with Star Wars. And that's usually the way things go. Alright, what is... What are you doing? You're turning on the wall. Zipper, you just got me killed, dude! I know what I was supposed to do, but I wasn't sure where to be yet. Alright. No, this is going terrible. I'm just going to start over. S freaking zipper. I'm starting over. I don't, I don't like the way this is starting. All right, hopefully I can skip. All right, here we go. All right, better. Let's get off to a better start. See, DuckTales already over. How's Rescue Ranger 7? Haven't tried this one yet. Uh, I'm off to a bad start, no life. <laughs> Not off to a very good start. And that's pretty normal for me, though. My first times to ever play a game for the first time usually are god-awful. But I'll pick up. We'll get going. DuckTales 2 was good. I enjoyed it. I got the bad ending, though. I missed something. And that's unfortunate. We'll have to play it again, though. Time I beat a game Deathless. I remember food nerds do that every day for breakfast. Unless the game requires a Deathless as a strat. Or a death as a strat. I was going to say Deathless as a strat would be Gradius. <laughs> Gradius! Deathless requirements to beat the game. So dumb. So incredibly dumb. I had to do Gradius 1 Deathless, but it's really not an accomplishment because you, you practically have to. All right, we're back to where we were. Picked up my copy. And, uh, yeah, this this is a fairly rare game, what I understand. DuckTales 2 is as well. But I got mine from Blockbuster cheap because they were just unloading games because it was time to replace all the 8-bit games with 32-bit games. So Blockbuster was having all these crazy sales, and I'd be like, okay, if I buy all, if I buy like 20 games here, 
Uh, ow, that hurt. Uh, can I, uh, will you give me a deal like $40 for 20 games? And the manager was like, okay. Because they, they just wanted to clear inventory. They, they didn't care about the actual games or anything. They just wanted to get rid of stuff. I just found a, a acorn or something. So that gave me some health back. No, your girl, I'm terrible. I'm very bad at games. I mean, you're probably going to see that here. People are going to tell me this is an easy, easy, easy game, and I'm going to struggle with it. It's usually the way it goes. And then people told me that Star Wars game was really hard, and I didn't have much trouble with it. <laughs> so that's usually the way it goes around here. I do the opposite of what's normal. And say so I'm about to die again. This is going poorly. So I got Shantae for 15 bucks. I, you, sometimes you can just get a great deal, man. And, and love it when a great deal works out like that. To be fair, they make the games look easy after thousands of hours of practice. Well, they yeah, they've run them a million times. You can't if you're doing like a regular Deathless run or doing like a uh, a first playthrough. Don't ever compare yourself to a speed runner. That, that's just not a good idea. They play these games so much, they sink so much time into them, they can beat it with their eyes closed. This guy can throw something else? No. Okay. Make sure with the Disney Afternoon. Look, Jax. Look. I got Disney Afternoon cut right here. See? This is the two games we played today. And it even tells you, look, check local TV listings. Look for the Disney Afternoon this fall. This is on the back of a DuckTales comic. So, I'm all set here. The box had like 15 games in it. It had Contra Force, Re a Rescue Rangers 2, and Donkey Kong Jr. Math with Manual in it, one of my better NES scores. Dude, that's a great pickup. That is a great pickup. I've never even seen Donkey Kong Math for sale anywhere. All right, so you know what Zipper could have told me? Hey, I'm cutting the water on. Better get on that cup. Not, not get me killed again. All right, so that's all you had to do there? All right, there's Monty. What's Monty got to tell us? You're going to fill my health up. All right, thank you for doing something useful at least. Need a boss fight? All right, spill it. Who set, it, who set the time bomb? There's terrorism going on in this game. Water Rabbit says, I did... Fat Cat asked me to create a diversion, and it worked. All right, the notorious water rabbit is behind everything. <laughs> no way! Fat Cat's in prison. Not anymore. He broke out last night. All right, who remembers this villain, Water Rabbit? I don't. He's planning to steal the urn of the pharaoh. He probably has it already. <laughs> You're too late. All right, are we going to start a fight with Water Rabbit now? So where's the bomb? Find it yourself. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this one's got cutscenes and stuff. The other one had very few. Alright, let me catch up with you guys now. You have Donkey Kong Jr. Math? I've never even seen it for sale anywhere. Miss the days of finding deals. Everyone knows how much... Uh, how things are because of eBay by NES. I got 15 years ago to garage sale with 10 games, two controllers, and a zapper for 20 bucks. That wouldn't happen now. No. No! My goodness, Rob. That's crazy. I love that you got that deal, but you're right. That would never happen today. Mm-mm. My God, that's crazy. It's also nice to have three little Samsons for a total of $125 combined. I got one little Samson for $2. <laughs> Not because I was a good deal maker, simply because it was part of the load I got from Blockbuster. This was like 1998 or something. Nobody knew what games were rare or anything. People just said, oh, it's an NES game. whoop de freaking do Who cares? It's a dime a dozen, and they weren't. Mixer, you own some great stuff. Maybe you are lucky after all. I told you. I told you Famicom Star Wars is harder only due to jank. Now, Famicom Star Wars Rush, it, I, I apparently it's only got like three lives for the whole game, and it's got like a couple of continues if you use force power from what I've read from like a translated manual. Alright, meanwhile, we got a fight against the, the notorious water rabbit going on here. Alright, so I'm assuming I'm going to smash him in the face with a box. I didn't get a chance to pick that up. I didn't want him to hit me. Got my Earthbound for SNES sealed in a box. That's got to be worth some money. 
I've never even played Earthbound before. What do you think about the game itself, Surreal? I've never played it before. I didn't even know where the character Ness came from or anything. I knew nothing. I know it's a really popular game now, but like back in the day, no one knew anything about it. I didn't, I, like when I first played Smash Brothers on N64, look, a box just randomly hit him. That was funny. Earthbound is amazing. I'll have to try it off stream sometime. I definitely wouldn't stream an RPG like that on here. You guys would be bored to death the way I do it. All right, well, we beat the level. All right, the, the, we beat the water rabbit. Only game you can find cheap NES is Mario Duck Hunt. Yeah, because so many people bought the Nintendo action set, right? Earthbound is one of the best RPGs ever. Super unique. I have never done a playthrough of it. Never once. I guess I need to at some point, right? What is this? I don't even know what I did right there. <laughs> what happened? What even was that? Gadget, have you found the bomb? Here's the bomb. Look, it has blue and red wires coming out of it. Okay, oh, which wires should we... We have to cut one of the wires. Don't make me choose. You figure it out. But, uh, what happens if we cut the wrong one? Gee, Dale, I wonder. We're doomed. Who are you, C-3PO? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> like dialogue like a five-year-old would have written. Which one should I cut? Don't make me choose. Red or blue. Hurry. All right. It's a first person to choose. All right. Somebody in chat pick. First person to pick is, is what we're doing. You guys decide. Jack says blue. If it blows up, Jack's your band. Are you sure? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Here goes. Woo, I guess that was the right one. Way to go, Jax. <laughs> Save yourself from being banned. Must have been a fake bomb. Oh, it couldn't have blown up anyway then. All right, Jax, you're off the hook. <laughs> okay, it's on a ship about to leave port. Oh, we got more stuff to do, of course. Oh, I can speed the dialogue up. Now what does Fat Cat want with the treasure of the Pharaoh? Who knows? We've got to get it back. All right, I found a way to speed the dialogue up. That's going to help a lot. Play Earthbound and play Mother 3, skip Mother 1, grind fest. I don't mind grinding, actually. I grew up with Dragon Quest 1 and Final Fantasy 1 and Fantasy Star 1. I can handle a little grind. I'm good with that, Rob. No problem. I kind of like grinding in a way. It's kind of just chill and relaxing. I have never minded grinding an RPG. I kind of had to. kind of had to back in the day. There was no way around it. Let me catch up with you guys. What am I missing here? Yeah, okay, green wire. Yeah, let's cut the green wire, the purple wire. Yeah, you guys are regular comedy show. Not sealed, unfortunately. Complete in box, meaning I have everything that came with it. Okay, well, that's still, that's great, Sorrel. That's great. Very tough parts you basically need a guide for. You never guess the solution. For Earthbound? Okay. You know, I bet we could figure it out. My girlfriend's pretty dang smart when it comes to figuring out cryptic stuff. Way more better than me. So I bet we could do Earthbound without a guide. We might miss some stuff, but that's okay, too. Really don't want to use a guide. <laughs> I hate using a guide. That's one thing that just gets under my skin like crazy. If I get stuck in something... Yeah, I know. You want to keep playing the game, use a guide, look at... Find out what you're missing. But it, it really just bothers me. It's something that would eat at me, like, for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That kind of stuff really bothers me. I'm going to grind play Seventh Saga. Uh, I have that available, Meat Wisdom, and we're probably going to play it off screen one day. I didn't know that much about that game, but I learned something about it recently, and people were like, Seventh Saga, yeah, this is an extremely hard, grindy RPG, so you should give it a shot. And I'm like, okay, one day then, I'll try it. Gremlins, bats in the sewers now? Yeah, what is this? Gremlins 2? That is... Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what that is. Long time Diablo 2 player. Imagine I loathe grinding. You're playing the wrong game then, Coffee. But you're looking for that jaw rune, aren't you? You're gonna find the, the jaw rune right around the corner like I did. I actually found one. Can you believe that? And I don't know what to do with it, though. I have a clue. I don't know what to make with, like, my runes. Diablo... 
Done Fizzle Quick Copy of Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster for Switch yesterday. Which one? Which Pixel Remaster? They do like, there's like four and five and six all available now. Which one, Sorrel? They all look really good from what I've seen. I'm looking for health here. I'm about to die. You can agree Dragon Quest 1 hasn't aged well. Not at all. It's just too grindy. It's way too grindy. I love the game for nostalgia reasons, but it's just too grindy. We had a boss already? Alright, what is this going to be? What the hell is this thing? What, type of, what is this, a vampire cat? You're not going to slide into me. What the hell is that? Alright. Fairly simple pattern here. Good shot, Dale. You missed him by a mile. Alright, nice. Never thought Diablo had grinding? Really? Diablo's all about grinding, the Diablo games. <laughs> They're some of the most grindy games ever, but that's kind of the point. Now, uh, I've done a lot in Diablo 1, 2, and 3, and I like them all, but my favorite's 2. Definitely 2 by Landslide. Not even excited for Diablo 4. I'm still having fun with 2. Come on, you just knocked my brick away. God, wow, that was not too hard. Okay. <laughs> Not too hard there. All right, we knocked out some vampire cat. Or having no mouth and I must scream the last night. Not so bad so far. No mouth and I must scream. I have what? Rob, where did that game come from? What era? Is that new or old? That sounds insane. I just got a two up. That was a good shot. Okay, it's a bonus game. I see what's going on with that now. What do these RRs do? This is not a spoiler. I'm going to ask this question. What do these emblems do? You see what I'm looking at here? What does this do? Does anybody know what these are? You can an you can ask this you can answer this question. I'm not going to I'm not going to get mad at you. You can break it. Break the news to me. What is it? Seventh Saga. It's another game that was made harder for the American rental industry. Your stat gains are half. They were in the Japanese version. The enemy stats are kept the same. You know, I kind of want to play it then. Because I, like, I, I love me a hard RPG. I don't mind grinding to get good to uh, improve myself in a game at all. Coins? Okay, so if you get like 100, you get an extra life. 95 point click PC game. I'm going to write that down, Rob, because I've never... I've never heard of that in my life. And now I want to know what it is. <laughs> that's, that's fascinating sounding. Those are for speedrunners. Just kidding. I have no idea. Oh. All right. So uh, they're not for speedrunners. J Dog's just making up stuff. Okay. Nice to know. <laughs> what are you guys playing tonight, J Dog? What are you guys going to work on tonight? You and Bar Girl. Okay. I just got shat on. Can you make this jump? Oh, okay. Well, that's what they want me to do. That's simple enough. So they're coins. All right. So if you get a bunch of them, you don't like Seventh Saga, Kane? I might like it. Like I said, I don't mind the grindy RPG. Can I throw stuff down in the... God damn it. I landed right on the porcupine. Captain Sid, what's going on, man? Am I... I'm good, man. We just beat DuckTales and got the bad ending. Not to DuckTales 2. I'm not happy about that. I screwed something up along the way. But now we're working on Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 2. I've never played this before. So another blind playthrough, and it's good. It's a lot like the first game with just new stuff. Practically the same game engine and everything. We try it now. It's time Gog has it for $1.49. Oh, a dollar forty-nine. I might pick it up then. It's cheap entertainment video games, are they not? You, you get a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to video games with this. A baseball. How's this going to help? I guess we're bringing it with me. And what did that accomplish? What's the significance here? There's a monkey in a bucket. I see that. Oh, this is a weapon I can bring with me. And it's destroying the monkey in a bucket really well. All right. Just hit myself in the head with it. All right. Didn't know I could do that. Set Wally Bear. No, that game's not worth it. You can't. Dude, if somebody tries to give you Wally Bear and, and offers you money, they're like, hey, I'll give you this Wally Bear and $20. Just tell them to keep your $20. I don't want it. It's better than Wally Bear. <laughs> What's going on, Sane? Welcome in. Yeah, you missed DuckTales, too, but I got the bad ending, so I'll have to play it again sometime. I missed something. 
Unfortunately, I'm sad about that. I thought I was finding everything really well, but nope, I missed stuff. I'm not surprised. I didn't really think I was going to get the good ending on the first time to play it anyway. Alright, get shat on again. That's great. But yeah, DuckTales 2 is really good. I just missed stuff. I own both DuckTales games on cart. Me too. They are good games, now that I've seen them both. The first one I played growing up, because my, uh, my cousins owned that when I was a kid. Uh, what's this, like a Cuphead boss type thing? Alright, well I've got a block over here. Can I hit this guy from here? Nope. Alright, good dot. No. Can I not jump that high? I guess not. Alright, well I botched that one up. Alright, there we go. Patience. There was no reason to hurry right there. Sometimes I gotta tell myself, why are, why are you hurrying? There's no reason to. Is that gonna hit? Wow! <laughs> wow! Alright, well that was good. Forcing someone to play Wally Bear. How cruel would that be? Well, Goten's playing it right now. He's enjoying some good Wally Bear. <laughs> Wally Bear and the No Gang. What a game, right? Am I right? What a wonderful game. <laughs> the shittiest game on the system. Yeah, I like it more than Gradius 2, though. I'll give it that. I will most definitely give it that. This guy's got a tiny hitbox. And Stevie Maddock, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Good to have you here. Welcome to uh, Chippendale 2. I've never played this before. That jump didn't work. Why did it not? Because the screen wasn't scrolled up enough. Oh, I didn't know I could jump on that. You can jump on this? Really? Okay, I didn't know I could do that. Before you play Earthbound Mother 2, you may want to play Mother 1 first. Mother 1 is translated by fans of Earthbound 0. Nintendo just recently made an official translation. Earthbound Beginnings on Wii U's Virtual Console and Switch's online service. I have Switch online service. So I can play it there, right? So that sounds like a good thing I, I should work on at some point at some time in my life. I don't have enough time to play all this stuff. That's the problem. I don't have enough time. When I was a kid, I had a, a lot of extra time. And then when I became a teenager, all my time started going away. And it's never come back. All these years later, and it's still the same thing. Alright, is this guy gonna die or what? This boss fight's dragging on better than Gradius 2. It's not much of a compliment. Like I like to say, the shit I took last night's better than Gradius 2. So that's kind of where I'm sitting with that. And that's never gonna change. I lost to that guy, really. I did. I actually lost to that guy. Well, he's dead now. No time, just like AVGN. No time. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't have enough time for anything. God, oh, oh what? You only get one shot at that? Okay, well that makes sense. The Urn of the Pharaoh is missing. We don't have any leads. Zipper contributes nothing. Monty, what's Zipper saying? Oh, he is saying something. Well, love, he says that Fat Cat and his henchmen head into a warehouse by the docks. Really, are you sure, Zipper? All right, let's go. Fat Cat better watch out. Alright. Let's go get Fat Cat. Whoa, it's pitch dark in here. I can't see a blooming thing. Hey, the door shut itself. And somebody turned the lights on. What is that in the background? Red Bull energy drink? Aha! Welcome, my little rescue rangers. I've waited a long time for this. Fat Cat's here. Fat Cat? Oh, the one and only. Fat Cat, you stole the urn of the Pharaoh. That's right. And it's full of ancient evil spirits. When I release them, I'll rule the world. You'll never get away with this fat cat. And what will you do to stop me? You're in a giant refrigerator. You'll be frozen solid in three minutes. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. J.I., what's going on, man? Everyone subscribe at Tier 3 so Mixer can quit his day job and play all these games. That's never going to happen. <laughs> How many people actually make a living from Twitch? Like a, a fool, there's, there can't be many people that do. It's practically no one. I don't think that would be possible. Just got done mowing the lawn. Dude, I hope the weather was good because mowing the lawn was like the worst thing. There's a time limit on this level. What is this? A four speed run! I'm not a speed runner! Right, I guess it's time to be one. All right, everybody buckle up. We're speed running. 
All right, speed run time. Go, 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 faster. Must go faster. Go, 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 go. This way? Yes. I right, just dropped my box. All right. I don't have time to pick coins up. I'll take this. I'm doing speed running. Didn't mean to do that. Go up! Two more minutes! Oh, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. That wasn't too bad. Never mind. I was worried about that for a second. Koenigberger, what's going on? Welcome in. Fat Cat is called Al Cat, Z Cat Zone in Germany. Like, Al it's a play on Al Capone. Interesting. See, I like to hear this kind of stuff. Otherwise, I would never hear it. See, when I was playing Tailspin... Uh, somebody told me in the chat when I was playing Tailspin on the Nintendo, somebody from France was telling me that it was, uh, it's called Super Blue instead of Tailspin. I was like, really? It's called Super Blue? Yeah, somebody brought that up during the Tailspin playthrough. I couldn't believe it. All right, let's see if I can do this without screwing it up again. Nah, that's nah, much better. Much better! Nice weather here in Ohio today. Well, that's what you won. See, it's nice weather here in Alabama today. Crikey, there's ghosts everywhere. Fat Cat must have opened the urn. Look, they're coming from the warehouse. You mean, mean the warehouse is haunted? Yeah, send in the Scooby-Doo gang. Pull yourself together, Dale. You're a ranger. Yeah, and those are g, -g ghosts All right, well, shut the hell up and get in there. We got bigger fish to fry. Nice weather in Michigan, too actually nice in Alabama. I'm not only going to say that like a couple of times throughout the year that it's actually nice in Alabama. The enemies are well animated. I like the way they look. This is cool. Mixer Light is a speedrunner. Dude, that, that was the easiest speedrun in the history of mankind right there. Come on. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? I'm just, you son of a bitch. Really? All right, how am I supposed to get through this? I wasted all the boxes. All right, well, somehow got through. We're good. Old Great Lakes region is feeling good today. It won't last long, will it? Summer's right around the corner. The heat and the humidity is on the way. At least it is here in Alabama. You guys up there in the north probably have it much better than I do. I'm very jealous. Make room for me. I'll just move up there and make my life better. Because I, I, I have an intense hatred for uh, humidity. And there's a lot of that here hate it. Anytime there's cold weather, I'm very, very thankful. Okay, what can I stand on here? Alright, on like a... on like a, a, sh a chandelier. Is this Harry Potter? I like this game. This is fun. It's not too hard. It's fun. It's, it's a first playthrough. You never know what to expect. Yeah, it's nice to just maybe chill through a game every now and then instead of playing something diabolically difficult, which we've done a lot of lately. So yeah, I had no idea what to expect today, but tomorrow will not be so easy, and neither will Sunday. I've got some difficult Zelda stuff lined up to do that's going to kick my ass up and down the street for... It's going to be painful, I can tell you guys that much. I'm going to get my ass whooped. Good to chill out. Goobs is rare, honestly, for me. Oh, he's giving me donuts! Goobs, how you doing today, man? You love Holland. It's cold here all the time. Dude, I would love it, man. I've never been to Europe. One day I'm going to visit, and I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. I can't wait. What just happened? I died? <laughs> Did I just die because the screen scrolled like a millimeter up? Wow! All right. Well, that sucks. CDI Zelda, no. Not CDI Zelda. Good guess, though. We're going to do that one day. We're going to do it. It's not even going to be a jank redemption. One day I'm just going to pop on and play some CDI Zelda. But see, I've seen some people play CDI Zelda, so I'm, I'm trying to like wait a while so I'll forget everything about it. Well, that's cool looking. Look at this guy. That's cool looking. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Okay, you hit him with a rock. Big shock, right? Come to Seattle? I'd love to be up there, man. They got good weather up there in Seattle. Swordless NES Zelda, maybe. We're going to do uh, do some Zelda stuff, though, 
uh, tomorrow and on Sunday, and it, it's going to be hard. So all I'm going to say, it's going to be difficult. It's something I've never tried before in either game. Oh, wow, that did not hit me. Unbelievable. But yes, Neff, we will do CDI Zelda at some point. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Are right, you going to drop something? No, you can do that. You can't hit me there. That's fortunate. No sword Zelda, maybe. How do you guys come up with this stuff? <laughs> How do you guys come up with these ideas? Swordless Zelda 2. So you want a pacifist run of Zelda 2? That would mean doing the game at level 1. <laughs> level 1? No, you couldn't even physically do that. I'd try it if you could, but I don't think you can. I've done a level 1 Zelda 2 run and level 4 life. It, was, it hurt. It really, really, really hurt. And I enjoyed the heck out of it, though, because I'm a big fan. Of, I'm a fanboy of Zelda 2. I'm proud to admit that. Mixer can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Dude, I'm going to do it one day. I'm looking forward to that. Three Heart Legend of Zelda? No, actually, what I think I have in mind is going to be harder than that. Piece of shit dropping that right on my head. Come on. What was that? Wow. <laughs> what the hell was that? TMNT Ralph no, Ralph no sub weapons easy mode. I have, you know what? Actually, I've got that on my list to do a Ralph only run. It's not a no sub weapons run, but it is a Ralph only run. Goten requested that a long time ago. Double Dragon 2, no special moves, just punch and kick. Good idea. Great challenge idea. I'd like to try that because I do love Double Dragon 2. That would not be easy at all. No special moves. No near tornado. Wow. that's. What about the super uppercut? That's, a, that's disallowed too, right? Because that's kind of a special move as well. Double Dragon 3, actually finish it. I've done it deathless, Kane. I've done that deathless, Double Dragon 3. I like it. I'm a fan. Damageless Zelda 1 Loop 2. No damageless runs. I hate the idea of doing damageless. Well, that was an easy boss once I saw what happened. No super uppercut 2. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll actually add that to the list. Just normal punch and kick. You know what? What bosses would be hard with that? Like all of them. <laughs> Dude, I really want to actually try that, Goten. That sounds like fun because I'm very experienced in Double Dragon 2. I might be able to do it. I would love to try. Good shot. Got, got the two up again. Still waiting for that Dagger Only Dragon's Lair run. I'm going to try that at some point. I, I don't know if I could do it, but I really want to try it. We did it. All the ghosts disappear soon. Speed the dialogue up. Don't you rescue rodents ever learn? Uh-oh, it's Fat Cat. Come out here and face us. Are you a cat or a mouse? He's a crackhead rat. Not so fast, Rangers. If you dare to face me, come to the amusement park. I'll be waiting. Oh, that Fat Cat. we got to stop him. Wait, Dale, it smells like a trap to me. If it's a trap, we'll fall into a trap, right? I haven't played this one either. How was DuckTales 2? DuckTales 2 was good, but I got the bad ending, Zaylin. I got the bad ending, and I'm sad because I missed something. I knew I'd miss something. Control this entire amusement park. You can't get me. Oh, yeah, don't bet on it, Fat Cat. Hi, you need three keys to enter my control room, and they're all hidden in different parts of the park. Have fun. Got to get the keys. Right, Odell, where should we go first? Clock Tower, Western World, or Future World? You guys choose. First one in the chat to choose one of these is where we're going. Come out and fight like a man, fat cat. Yeah, I know. He's like the villain in every episode of Chip and Dale practice. I like the series as a kid, though. Goob says Western. Western it is. Big Dave, how you doing today, man? Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Going to Western World, because that's what Goobs asked for. Yeah, I got the bad end, Zaylin. I know. I missed something. I, I knew I would. Because I don't use guides or anything. I, I figured I would miss something. And now we're in the Old West. Got to get the, find a way to get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour so we can get back to 1985. Got to like, look out for Buford Tannen and all kinds of other things now that we're in the Old West. You could speed... De Zaylin, this would be a great game to speed run. It really would be. I mean, I did a speed run above level earlier in this because it made me because of the time limit. I was like, okay, I'm speed running now, watch, and I made it through with plenty of time to spare. My dad was the one who hated games, still does. He can't wrap his head around the fact that I still play video games as an adult. See, my dad was like that when I was a kid. He couldn't... What is this? Okay, this is... 
Okay, you can speed it up or slow it down. All right, I got it. All right, probably going slow is the thing to do here. Yeah, see, if I was a speedrunner, I'd have this thing kicked into high gear. Zaylin, you'd be riding this minecart about 90 miles an hour and finding a way to not get hit. I know you. But I'm going to, like, step on the brake the whole time. I'm going to drive like a 90-year-old lady. <laughs> That's the way it's going to work. We also run into Daydreamin' Davey. Oh, do I have to play that? For God's sake, do I have to play Daydreamin' Davey? People have requested that. I, I don't want to play that. That was a good dodge. I wasn't sure if that was even going to work, but it did. Daydreamin' Davey. <laughs> what the? Why don't grab the controller, you idiot? Kung Fu Heroes. I, you know what? Kung Fu Heroes, I'm going to do a playthrough of. Not doing it one credit clear. We're going to use continues in that game. Otherwise, we'd be... He's not grabbing the controls. Dale, grab the knob! I'm done. I don't like that part right there. <laughs> I the in the ass. Oh, we gotta do more. Great. Awesome. I hate this part. Why, Chip is better? I like Dale better. Chip's a stick in the mud. Thank goodness. I know. GGIF, man. Thank goodness. What I walk into of nonsense. My dad played the Ultimate Dad game. Blue Marlin on NES played it all the time. That is a dad game if there ever was one. See, my dad got into video games with uh, Street Fighter 2 and... Uh, Mario Kart. That's what got my dad interested in video games. He didn't care anything about them until those came out. And then he was like, wow, these are fun. I like playing as Ryu and Ken and the boys. And I was like, Dad, I know. I've been trying to tell you video games are fun. He finally got it. I was very thankful. And he loved Mario Kart on Super Nintendo as well. And ever since then, he never complained about me playing video games again because he understood that they could actually be fun. I could not believe it. It was a long time coming, but it finally happened. Up until that point, though, he's like, these are stupid. Why would anybody play this crap? Chippendale are actually strippers. You're thinking about the club, Chippendales. Now we've got a cat throwing playing cards at me. Okay. So how's this going to work? Remember that boss in Eight Eyes that could throw playing cards? That boss was horrible. One of the worst bosses in the game by far. Even Cutrus couldn't help me much with that. Laid back with a beer. What's going on, man? Even old people can learn. Yeah, I know. No one's old here, though, so don't go there. We're all young here. This is a young stream. Of course, you couldn't convince some teenager that. They'd be like, look at all those old people playing that crappy old Chip and Dale game. No, no one's old here. Cutrus was awesome. I liked him a lot. He got the job done in Eight Eyes. That was a great game, by the way. I hope more people stream Eight Eyes. Is it an easy game? No, it's pretty dang hard, but I liked it a lot. Even Mixer who hates birds has a bird. Now, Cutrus got the job done. Just, just, that was just freaking awesome. You know what's as fun as video games? Vindication. I know, I should probably call my dad up and be like, you know what, Dad, remember when you didn't like video games and I proved you wrong? Yeah, sucked to be you, didn't it? Otter Chippendale, Patrick Swayze or Chris Farley? Uh, I'm not going to answer. <laughs> Some that's for not for me. Someone else answered that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with neither. Find someone else. Oh god, what the hell? Hit him with the freaking card, dude. Give him a paper cut! <laughs> it's like the worst thing ever, a paper cut. Yeah, death by a thousand paper cuts. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Andy, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. How's it going today? How'd the E-Honda runs go? So you were working on some E-Honda runs last night. How did that go? Looked like it was going pretty good. But the, Like two nights ago, you said something about having to shave off a minute after not losing a round, and I was thinking, oh, God. How tough is that record going to be to get? Man, I missed everything. Perfect. All right. 
Oh, Gadget says we found the key. Where to next? All right, we can go to Clock Tower or Future World. What is this, Back to the Future? Save the Clock Tower! Save the Clock Tower! <laughs> Somebody pick a level. Purple turret says tower, okay. Gadget says, are you sure? Clock Tower, hurry, here we go. The great Saturday Night Live skit, everyone working for the weekend. I love that song. I love that song. We should not do a poll on that, no. <laughs> no. I'm choosing neither one, the clock tower. Great Scott, I know, right? <laughs> it's perfect. Dude, look at this mouse electrifying itself. <laughs> look at this enemy. That would not be done today. Just kind of like what what the, the, it's just a different time period when this game was made. There was like a, a we were talking about a bomb going off in a restaurant in this game. Times were different back then. People were a little more not quite as sensitive as they are now. Maybe it was a better time. I don't know. Sith Cube, how you doing today, man? Fox, welcome in. Hope you guys are doing good. Giant might run to death at the clock tower. I'll just throw a box at him, no problem. Feel more like the E Honda runs did me. Oh no! Okay, so they they weren't going very well. I saw you beat the crap out of Guile a couple of times, and then have uh, another run screwed up by Blanca. Blanca seems to screw up a lot of your speed runs. Andy, let me, uh, Andy. Your speed runs with Street Fighter seem, uh, from my observations, I've seen a good bit of them usually get broken up by E Honda, Blanca, Guile, or Fei Long. <laughs> usually ru or DJ. Those characters always ruin your speed runs. And I completely get it. <laughs> because I those characters have always given me problems as well when you're playing against a computer. I love Street Fighter, but goddamn it can be trolly. It's fun to have Fight Cade now too. Saying you have Fight Cade now, don't you? We should play some Street Fighter and, and start. What happened? The screen moved up another millimeter and it made me fall. Now we're not gonna get a one credit clear. <laughs> I didn't plan on getting one anyway. It's just happening that way. Blank. Yes. Oh my God. The Honda Blink and Guile tend to be the worst. See, that's what I was thinking. I've seen that so much. Fight Cade hype. I know, Rydia. Rydia, I'm scared to play you now in uh, <laughs> Street Fighter 3. You've been practicing a lot. You're going to destroy me. And then I'm going to get salty. And when, when you, Rydia, when you beat me, I'm going to get really upset and claim that the character I'm using wasn't my main. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Oh, that wasn't my main! That doesn't count! <laughs> no, it counts just fine. If you're playing, then you lose and you lost. It doesn't matter. Wish Guy was in third strike instead of having Remy. Remy, the 90-pound weakling. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, this is an unfair matchup. That's why I lost. I know, right? Pitiful. Excuses, excuses. Just say GG's and move on. All you gotta do, be down and totally, oh, if I'm ever home while you're playing, I'll totally throw down if my work schedule goes back to how it used to be, I'd be free to play like every day. Hopefully that'll happen one day. I haven't done any more Street Fighter streams like with Fight K, but I want to again. Because uh, th that, that was a lot of fun that day. We did like five hours of Street Fighter that day with you guys versus me. And it was a lot of fun. I'd be more than willing to do that again anytime. In fact, every time I take so many losses, every so many losses, I'll throw in a free jank game, so you guys will have incentive to beat me. Am I gonna die here? No. Okay. Who is that? Monty Mole? That guy was in the cartoon, I think. PSL, what's going on? You remember that? Yeah, I fought you a bunch that day. We had a good time. I enjoyed it a lot. Wow, that was stupid. <laughs> PSL, hope you're having a good day. Work production jobs of this year has been very post-pandemic catch-up. A lot of that going on. A lot of that stuff going on. Totally understandable. Suck at fighting games with the Street Fighter mobile game. It's fun so far. There's a Street Fighter mobile game? I did not know that. I'll have to look that up. I just want to see what it's like. I've, like, it, I've hardly ever played mobile games in my life. <laughs> but, I mean, there are some good ones out there. But I know, like, nothing about them. Smash the mole in the face. Alright, this feels like a 
Is that gonna like spin me downwards? No. All right, look, I can stand on that and it doesn't move. Wow, that's too easy. In Mega Man, that would have like thrown me off or something. Twitch streamer should meet in real life and have a real life Mortal Kombat tournament. I'll yell, finish him. What, what do you want, Glove? You want to go back to the gladiator days? Are you not entertained? Is that what you want? Literally starting to learn Street Fighter after watching people play on Mike stream. Yeah, we have a good time on Mike stream, don't we? Mike's fun to play against, especially when he starts insulting the characters. What is this? An ostrich riding a gear? What kind of wacky ideas. <gasps> you can jump up there. Okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I didn't... Wow. Okay. So we should run underneath them, maybe. Okay. I have no idea what his pattern is right now. All right. Maybe I should stay on the bottom. <laughs> Why he didn't hit me? How did that happen? Alright, I see what you're gonna do. Do <laughs> ya! You tricked me! You weren't supposed to do that! It was illegal! This game was released in Europe in late 94. By then, my mind was a million miles away from NES. Mine, too. I only bought it because it was on sale super cheap. I was like, oh, neat. And then I never played it. Not good at classic Street Fighter 2. I'm much better with the Alpha games, Street Fighter 4. I love Alpha 3, Fox. We got to play some. We got to play. We got to. There's a tournament coming up. Aprislam uh, and Aprisin's channel. We're going to have a good time. Street Fighter Alpha 3 tournament. Beats me up and then throws up a peace sign. I'm going to break off all Ken's fingers. Ken intimidates me because I don't like dealing with dragon punches. Because I'm a Chun-Li main. Be okay with being a gladiator. It's cool. The movie Say So. Yeah, it's cool, Rob. Until you get a freaking... Yeah, until you get a, a, a sword slammed into your skull. That's, that's all great. What a way to make a living, right? You know what, what would be crazy? If they actually brought real combat to the death... Like, as a real form of entertainment. Do you know how popular that would be? That would be a really scary thing. But it would be so popular. People would pay big money to watch people kill themselves in real combat. I guarantee you it would be so popular. I, mean, I guess humans haven't evolved too far from the old days. But I guarantee you that you would not be able to get a ticket for a real gladiator fight. I'm surprised they haven't even tried that yet. I, I, hopefully they never will, but it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Back with dinner top ramen noodles with chicken added. Sounds good, man. I can go with that anytime. Can't go wrong with some ramen noodles, no matter what. <laughs> I think everyone enjoys that. All right, got them. Got them. Good, good stuff. I wouldn't watch that. That's disgusting. I wouldn't watch it either, man, but it would be extremely popular. That's what I'm getting at. It would be extraordinarily popular. You guys remember that, right? Fuddruckers had the ostrich burger. I remember Fuddruckers, but I don't remember an ostrich burger. Fuddruckers is an old school hamburger place, but they don't have any of those around here anymore, unfortunately. Well, I got the one up. I guess it's better than nothing. Ryan, what's up, man? Welcome in. Welcome on into Chippendale. Yeah, we're at the Chip and Dale Club. The last one must be in Future World. All right, let's go. All right, Future World it is. There are people wearing their pants let their uh, pants pockets inside out here. That's what's going on in the future. Ryan, I hope you're having a good day. That burger was good. Okay, I only had just like a regular burger when I went to Fud Ruckers a long time ago. You're playing my first rare game I owned back in the day. DJ, welcome in. I'm enjoying this game. It's good. It's a good, fun little romp. I'm nothing bad to say about this one. I think it's a good game. What's that mole's name? All the fat cat minions had different names and stuff. This guy shocks himself. And he's dead. Okay, good. Alright, watch for the crusher. I gave up on an ostrich farm. I grew up on an ostrich farm. Did you really? Or are you just making that up? I go this way? I can. Alright, you never know what can hurt you. An ostrich farm. 
I'm not sure I believe that. <laughs> Makes her enjoying games. I know this is a rare thing. Tomorrow I'll be hating life when I'm doing this Zelda challenge I've got going. <laughs> I'll be hating life, but that's okay. Got to do it. And then another Zelda challenge after that. Zelda 2, actually. So yeah, I've got, got some difficult games up ahead to work through. That's okay. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how I didn't... Hey, how does it... That works like Mega Man, except like really casual-like. Okay. See, I was like, anticipating something far more dangerous than that. Alright, we found Monty. And he's throwing out donuts or something. That's good. Yeah, we got a Zelda. We got two different Zelda challenges. Well, Zelda 1, Zelda 2. And there we go. Thank you, Crudus, for putting in the Rescue Rangers theme song. I see that. I see it. <laughs> I could sing it, but I would not because I don't sing very well. I sing like crap. Uh, excuse me, I should be able to jump on that. Excuse me, I can jump on that. Oh, uh, what? I'm falling through the platform! He made you eat a donut off the floor. Five second rule, Neff. The donut was on the floor for like one second and, and then I ate it. Dude, I'm a chipmunk. The five second rule doesn't count. If it's on the floor, just eat the damn thing. I don't care if it's been there for a year. <laughs> now I've got the song in my head, mine too. I'm not going to sing it though, like I said. Monty's throwing out donuts. Thought he was all about cheese. Yeah, I know. You've seen it, haven't you? <laughs> mud tail. No, not mud tail. Cyborg. How dare you? This is this is not duck tail. This is not duck tails. Chip and Dale. Duck tails and Chip and Dale. Nothing muddy about it. All right, what do we do here? All right, we just hit the guy. This looks like a Dr. Wily invention. Like something stupid he would have come up with. Look, I've got a crane. I'm going to kill Mega Man with a crane. Okay, so that did end up hitting me. Cyborg, how you doing today? Welcome in. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, yeah, Vanilla. I would love to visit some of that. That's truly the old world from my point of view. Because we're in the United States here. And this, this hasn't been a country for very long, honestly. I would love to visit Europe. How is that hitting me, dude? That missed me by a mile. This was the debris that hit me. It was debris. All right, so the hitbox on that's more generous than I was giving it credit for. That was close. <laughs> ah, that was close. Cyborg is going good. We beat DuckTales 2 earlier and now working on this. I'm probably going to lose this fight because I'm playing like garbage. Come on. Don't do anything dumb. Oh, you're raising the white flag. Okay. Are you really doing it, though? Are you going to trick me? Nope. I'm not going to. All right. Another level down. Knocking through them. Make sure let's go to Europe so you can use the metric system. I, I wish we would use the metric system, man. We're way behind. We're way, way behind. It's time to catch up with the rest of the world. Gotta use the metric system. Maw Coffee, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Great to have you here. In the Chippendales. Things are going okay. Got the two up. Yes, sir. We're gonna get a one credit clear of this game because I'm keeping my lives up by using the bonus stage as well. Fat Cat is right inside. Oh, we're gonna fight the final battle. Let's use the keys. All right, gadgets here. Zippers here. What could possibly go wrong? How dare you move a decimal point? <laughs> yeah, I know. We don't have anything like that here, do we, Tilty? Thank you for the GG's, guys. We're making some progress here. I like this game. This is fun. This is fun as a science teacher. I couldn't agree more about the metric system we tried to have in the 70s and people slipped that. Yeah, I know. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. They slipped out. They flipped out. Awful. It's awful. We got to get caught up. I wouldn't mind using it. We're, I, I mean, we're still using Fahrenheit, too. Like, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Haven't even moved to Celsius yet. My goodness. My goodness! Alright, Rescue Rangers, let's get the job done. Is this the last level? Sounds like we're about to fight Fat Cat. 
how many lives do I have? Can we get a one credit clear of this? It looks like we might. It hasn't been a very hard game. It has not been. It's been fun. It's a good game. Can I do something with that lever right there? Yes, not. All right. The metric system is better. I agree. It is better. Live here and it's silly. Yeah, man, it is, man. It is. We do a lot of silly stuff here. Wild dog, don't we? So much ridiculously silly nonsense. Oh my goodness. We can talk about the. I could gripe about that for hours. What the hell was that? Is that going to hurt me? Is that drill part of the background? I'm not going to take that chance. This was like a kind of like a final level type thing would be. It was like this is like Mega Man if I've ever seen a. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> that could have been tragic right there. But yep, I knew I was going to end up down there in the electricity one way or another. I saw that coming a mile away. All right, let's get some health back. Preach the choir. I know, right? So I play a 3D game if you wanted difficulty. No, if I wanted frustration, I could have played a 3D game. Quite a bit difference there. If I really wanted frustration, I could go play Gradius 2 again. That way it wouldn't be 3D and it would be plenty frustrating. Screw 3D. Screw it to hell. But no, this game has not been very hard. K-Fight, I hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. Monty's throwing donuts on the floor again. Let's go. One second rule, blast from the past, and this game is so good. This is a good game. I'm enjoying this. It's actually a game I'm playing that's not all that hard, which is very rare for my streams. Normally, I have to suffer through this nightmarish, terribly hard games all the time, but not right now. This, this, this is a little bit of a chill before. This, this is a calm before the storm tomorrow and on Sunday. That's where I'm going to be suffering and getting mad, and all kinds of terrible things are going to be happening. Pretty sure there's a 3D Gradius. It couldn't be any worse than Gradius 2. <laughs> Don't put yourself through that again. And got you. Know, how about Gradius Gaiden? Didn't you recommend that, Wolf? Should we play that sometime? I'm not gonna flake out on it. We are gonna do it. I mean, it's more Gradius games. It's more things I'm gonna end up hating. So yeah, why not? It'll be something else to talk about. Oh yeah, remember that new Gradius game I played? Oh yeah, that was garbage. So that way I can say that. And until I play it, I can't say anything about it. Gradius 5 is like 2.5D. Okay, well that's better than 3D. Keep that 3D stuff away. You know, keep, keep that 3D stuff away from me. I, I, I don't want it anywhere close to me. Just, mm. Get this away. Get that, get that away from me. Get that away! I don't want it. Don't want to see it. Don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Ugh. Disgusting. I have to wash my hands later, too. Just to get that stench off. <laughs> oh, that's better than Gradius 2. What can I say? All right, somehow that's just not hitting me. All right, there it goes. Never mind. I'm getting hit. All right, not doing too good here. Not doing too good here. All right, got to use some geometry. There you go, see? Easy. <laughs> My week's been good, K-Fight. It's been good. I haven't been sleeping too much. I... Piece of shit! <laughs> okay, hit, me, hit that back at me with a spoon. Yeah, my week's been good. I haven't been sleeping too much. I have problems sleeping. I don't know why. Some nights I just sleep like three hours or something. I don't get it. it makes no sense at all. Just keep throwing shit. Something to work out. Carl Winslow, what's going on, man? Ma Coffee, thank you for the resub. Or the first sub as well. You just follow and you already subbing to me. You don't have to do that, but thank you very much. You ever heard of Mischief Makers on N64? I have. I've actually played that before. I'll tell you a little story about Mischief Makers. No, I don't want... Bl you want, you hand me Blastcore Pagshim, I'll break the damn game on the on camera. And then you'll just sit there and cry. Okay? Maul Coffee, thank you so much for the sub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate it very much. It's great to have you here, man. And how are you doing today, Carl Winslow? Always a pleasure to see you as well, my friend. Welcome in. We're playing some Chip and Dale. Looks like you're right. You guys are right in time for the ending. Apparently, we're gonna fight Fat Cat now. It's like phasing in and out of reality. Welcome, Rescue Rangers. I've been waiting for you. 
You'll never get away, fat cat. Surrender. You'll never defeat me, rescue rangers. I have the ultimate weapon, the fat cat robot. Did you hear something? Look out, everyone. Okay, we're gonna fight a robot, all right. All right, how bad could this be? Please do not break any real game cartridges. If Gradius 2 was right here, you would see it in a million pieces. Oh my god, look at this thing. That's actually really cool graphics for NES. Okay, so what do I do? I don't have any weapons. I don't have a box. How am I supposed to attack them? That's cool looking, actually. Oh, that didn't work! Okay, why not? What is this, Sonic 2? <laughs> this, is not, this is Eggman boss from Sonic 2? Oh, it's got a, I just realized, there's, oh, this is a bomb. I didn't know he could do that. Okay, I didn't know he could do that. Ooh, what is this, Dr. Wily? He's fighting like Dr. Wily. Three, two, one, throw. Missed him. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, I gotta get used to the timing on that. This is like some contraption Dr. Wily would have built. It is a 16-bit looking boss. The graphics are good. There's nothing Gradius 2 about that. <sighs> Dude, what? Okay, I haven't even hit this thing yet. I don't think I've done any damage. Three, two, one, throw. Bam, I hit him that time. Okay, so it just has to be well-timed. Radius 2 on the PC Engine. You haven't played that version? Why should I? Why should I, Jukebox? Why, do, I, I, do I really hate my life that much? Do, do, no, that should be self-harm, dude. That, that would count as self-harm. You can't do that live on stream. You can't do any self-harm related stuff. If I'm playing Gradius 2 on stream, that's, that's self-harm. I'm sorry. It is. That's not allowed. I, should be, I could be banned for doing that. Terms of service. See, yeah, I can't break the terms of service. Sorry. No can do. Can't do it. Alright, I'm getting better at this now, at least. I, I, at least I know what to do. Better get rid of all the garbage redemptions. Man, dude, I'll play every garbage redemption again, Goobs, before playing Gradius 2. All of them again. Superman 64? Yep. Uh, what else will I play again? Lesser the Unlikely? Sure. Captain Planet? Bring it on. As long as it's not Gradius 2 again, I'm good. Remember as that Fat Cat was once the pet of all the famous doctors, Claw, Wily, Eggman, and more. Dr. Claw? Oh, so this Fat Cat was actually um, Mad Cat from Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Mad Cat from Inspector Gadget. I forgot about that guy. I like that guy. <laughs> They shouldn't put danger right there. That's making it too easy. They should make it make it a guessing game so you don't know where he's going to drop down. Then you have to just, like, die, right? A lot of what U.S. uses instead of the rest of the world inches over metric Fahrenheit over Celsius. U.S. spelling pronunciation over British. Also known from U.S. founding fathers, particularly Ben Franklin, wanting to further stick at the British following the Revolutionary War. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, we gotta be special, right? We can't be like them. Even though it's out of date and dumb, we're still just not going to do it. Well, see, they didn't have any... There was no excuse... There's no excuse for it now. But back then... Whatever. Who cares? Any garbage redeem my first Mega Man experience? Mega Man 1 on DOS and Mega Man 3 on DOS because it was a bonus on CD of Street Fighter 2. Still got it in the box, you know, Windows 3.1. So when do we try those? We'll probably will try them. They've been brought up before. So yeah, Mega Man on DOS. I've actually read a story about that. One guy developed the whole game. Is this jank robot already dead? No, it just took some damage. Okay. All right, so it's not dead yet. This thing's actually putting up a fight. I mean, it's not doing a whole lot, but it's, it's, it's absorbing damage. It's a damage sponge. That didn't count, did it? Wow, okay. Boy, this robot's not too powerful. In the UK and Canada, they use both. Well, see, that's at least a step forward from here. That's slightly better. Okay, and I'm blowing the tail up, obviously. One guy developed it, sure shows. That's why I'm not going to knock that Mega Man on DOS too hard. Because that was built by one guy. 
one guy built that. It's kind of like a passion project. So it's not like all of Capcom did that. So yeah, I'm not going to hate on that game, honestly. And besides, it's better than Gradius 2, so, I mean, come on. What, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You can see he tried real hard on Street Fighter 2, like, really, but, the man, but man, the frame rate is... Oh, so ba oh, bad frame rate on Street Fighter wouldn't be good at all. No Death Alf? Oh, Cyborg, you really hate me, don't you? My God, No Death Alf. Do you know how hard that would be? There's parts in ALF where it's practically impossible to not take one death. I don't think anyone should ever even think about attempting that. But, like I said, though, still better than Gradius 2. Like, you're not going to find anything worse than that. Come on, we're doing fine. This is a long fight. This is dragging on and on and on. Come on. Throwing bombs at a fat cat robot. Alright, is it dead? Or is it going to go into phase three? Apparently not. All right, now we'll probably fight Fat Cat himself. That's what I'm guessing is going to happen now. Alf, no salami run? Impossible, sir. Impossible. No human alive could do it. Try and prove me wrong. You know, there's a Ninja Gaiden 2 on DOS. It's very hard for all the wrong reasons. Oh, same. oh so one of those kind of games, right? Mm. Kind of want to try it then. <laughs> Getting stuck halfway between metric and imperial measures is what we have in the UK. Yeah, we need to know both, and it sometimes gets very confusing. That kind of does sound like a pain. Foot of a king, a thumb of a king, the arm of a king. Sir, this is a republic. Well, I don't know what it is anymore, honestly. <laughs> We're not done with this. All right, let's get some extra lives. All right, two up. Well done. The ceiling, she's giving way. Oh, see, I knew we weren't we're done. Oh, find cover, everyone. Dale and I will track Fat Cat. Yep, see, there's more to do. Take care of yourselves. I, that wasn't me playing. That was the cutscene. Chip and Dale are trapped inside. We've lost the lads forever. Wait, what? Good call, Monty. Yeah, good call. Chip, Dale, thank goodness you're safe. We almost didn't make it. And we never did capture Fat Cat. He must still be trapped inside. But I know Fat Cat, he had his escape well planned. Now he's dead. Well, if nothing else, we made that blighter's life a little less cushy, eh? You said it. If he ever shows up again, then I guess we'll just have to teach him another lesson. Rescue Rangers. Right, watch out, Fat Cat. We're the Rescue Rangers. They didn't try too hard on dialogue. Oh, wait, that's it? It's made it sound like there was going to be another level. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and just like that, it's over. Wow. Okay, I was expecting more. It's still a fun game, though. I'm not knocking this game. It's fine. It's not very hard. I mean, that was a one-credit clear the first time I played it, so yeah. You can do that deathless, too. That would not be very hard. The first two, uh, the first boss is harder than most bosses for, in 2 for NES. I kind of want to try it, Sane. I don't know if you played it, but Strider 2014 Deathless would be fun. Deathless for a first playthrough of a Strider 2014? You know how much time that would probably take? Get 2.5D in modern quality of life and Strider all in one. 2.5D is acceptable. Monterey needs an eye test. They're only 30 feet away or 10 meters. <laughs> That's all. Play a shitty and hard game. Tonichu, what's up? We will again. We always do that here. You know that. Welcome in. This game totally fakes you out and gives you a bonus stage after the final boss. What was that? I just, yeah, I just realized that. There's a final bonus stage after the final boss, and then there's no more of the game to play. What, what was that? Why? Just, I don't get it. Well, the game's over. I can't do anything. I'm hitting all the buttons and not getting anything. I didn't understand that at all. That's all, folks. Well, I guess that's it for today. It's 4 o'clock. We don't really have time for another game right now.